My wife would drop off my daughter at school, go meet with him, then come home and act like nothing happened. I've since confronted her and she's trying to get me to stay. What's going on everybody hope everybody's feeling good hope everybody's doing well we are back with another story post guys if you want to check out this story um i'll put it here on the screen for you to check it out to take a look at it but with that being said you guys read the title let's just get into it so reddit surviving infidelity just found out my wife has been cheating on me for 11 months advice I am absolutely devastated. I've been with my wife now for 10 years, married for three. We have an amazing eight year old girl and just had another baby. On my way home from picking up my daughter from a friend's pool party, my wife accidentally sent me a screenshot of her FaceTime with another man. I instantly recognized him. When I got home, I confronted her. She explained it was an Instagram pocket dial and she instantly hung up out of embarrassment and took a screenshot in the process. This was all a lie. I debunked this. After questioning her, come to find out she was FaceTiming this guy and effed up by sending me that picture entirely. She's been talking with this guy who is also married for around 11 months. So I contacted his wife and let her know my wife and her husband have been hiding their conversations from us. After talking more with his wife, she discovered he was getting a hotel room down the street from our home all the time. She pulled this info up on their Mar Marriott Points account. I called him and got him to come clean. He has been effing my wife for months at a hotel during the day. My wife would drop off my daughter at school, go meet with him, then come home and act like nothing happened. I've since confronted her and she's trying to get me to stay. The worst part is, our new baby may not be mine. They may have been having sex throughout the entire pregnancy. I got a paternity test today and should know by Friday the outcome. I don't want to divorce my wife, but she has absolutely broken my heart and ruined this family. My oldest daughter has no idea, and I don't plan on telling her so they can keep a healthy relationship. My wife has never cheated before. I treat her like a queen. We are happy. I love our relationship, or so I thought. If she had never sent me that screenshot by mistake, I'd never even know. The worst part is I have no idea why she would ruin our family and marriage. I give her my all. I work my butt off. For her and the girls i am broken update baby is mine wow let me give the, let me give my thoughts sad man it's always sad when i read this part too and i see these in a lot of posts and even uh, subscriber emails i gave her my all i worked my butt off for her it always, every time, it never fails. Those guys break their backs. Men are breaking their backs for women. And they're turning around and spitting in their faces. That's This is how they're repaying them. It's being proven every time. You just can't do this, man. You can't. Especially today. Especially the way the world is set up today. There's just no way I'd get married. I don't know how guys do it. I don't. She's always going to want attention. Look at Steph Curry's wife. Look at all these celebrities wives who have everything. They have the world. And then you hear these guys in these stories say things like, I gave her my all. I give her everything. And they still cheat. They're still on social media twerking. Trying to get attention from other men. It's not worth it. It's not. 
I'm glad the, the, the baby is yours. But when I was reading a story, I'm sitting here wondering, is the eight year old yours? You know, I, do, do you know for sure? You know, you said she's never cheated before. You don't know that. You didn't know she was cheating now until she sent you the picture by accident. You got to divorce her, man, unless you like going through this. Unless you want to continue going through this because she's not going to slap. She's not going to stop sleeping with someone. There's something that that she doesn't want is something she doesn't want from you. She wants it from other men. That's not somebody you want to be loyal to and be around with and be with. Tell your eight year old daughter what happened. Tell her. Get out of that situation. This woman doesn't love you. This woman, woman that'll do that to you, man. She'll do anything to you just to get out of the, the marriage. Who knows what she'll do to you for another man. Take everything you got and move on with that other man. Say, so yeah, my ex-husband had a freak accident. Come on, man. Guys, let me know what you think about this in the comments. Whew, it's not worth it. I'm telling you, if you're new here, I'm going to go ahead and attach a flashback story. With that being said, I'll catch you guys at the next one. Twenty-nine-year-old female incorrectly thought my boyfriend, who's thirty-one, was cheating, and I ruined everything. She starts with, "My boyfriend and I have been dating for over two years. I'll save everyone the long description and just say that he's an incredible boyfriend, and I constantly feel like I won the lottery with him, and I want nothing more than to marry him. But I've totally thrown it all down the toilet." And I don't know if there is any way I can fix this. Last week on Friday, we were hanging out at my place. He was going to head back to his place. And while he was in the bathroom, his phone chimed. It was a message from Jennifer, not real name, saying, just checking that we're still on for tomorrow night. You're picking me up, right? My heart dropped. He doesn't have a pass on his phone. So I checked the message history. It stated recently with her saying, it's me. And is it okay that I'm texting you? To which he said something like, of course, and some emojis. He said he was going to take her out on Saturday and she could pick wherever they were going to go. He came back from the bathroom. I quickly turned off the phone and was just frozen. I should have said something, but I was just like totally numb. My heart was beating so fast. He said, talk to you later and headed out. I was completely sick all night. The next day, I decided I wouldn't confront him immediately. Another mistake. So around noon, I texted him and was asking what we are going to do tonight to see what he says. He said he forgot to tell me that he had plans over at his brother's house about 90 minutes away and that we could do something on Sunday. I didn't write back. I was just watching it all fall apart. Finally, I sent him something asking when he was going to his brother's and he said he was already in the car on his way and that he'd text me later. So I got in my car and I drove over to his brother's house, knowing that he'd have a head start on me. And when I arrive, he should be there if he's telling the truth. I get there and sure enough, his car is nowhere to be found. I should have gone up to the door and spoken to his brother, but I was a wreck. So I drove home. That night I put his stuff in a box and in the morning I drove over to his place. I had rehearsed what I was going to say and, and how calm I wanted to say it in my head like a thousand times. But when I pushed the box into his chest and said, I knew about Jennifer and we're done, he had kind of a smirk on his face like he thought I was joking and I just lost all of my cool. I said so many terrible things. I told him I'll get a better, hotter boyfriend, no problem. And I should have upgraded from him long ago. And I'm going to find someone who doesn't require me to fake it when we are having sex. I don't fake it. I really like sex with him and I find him very attractive. I also made some comment about him being small. His size is fine because I know he's self-conscious about this and I knew it would hurt him. I wanted him to hurt like I was hurting, and I know it's messed up. I am a terrible person. He's totally in shock at this point. Jaw open, tears in eyes, 
I told him that when Jennifer gets sick of his terrible sex, don't come crawling back to me. And I started to leave. This is when he tells me that Jennifer is his 12 year old niece. I've only met her a few times as far as I knew. Her name was Mei Mei, not real name. But it turns out that's a Chinese nickname that has some specific significance to her family. My boyfriend's sister-in-law is from China. I don't know for sure if I ever knew or was told specifically that Jennifer was her real name. But I've heard her called Mei Mei and I've called her that myself. So what the F? She turned 12 recently and got a phone for the first time. Hence the new text conversation. I knew she just turned 12. He had a work conflict and couldn't make the party. I knew that he had promised to take her out for a night sometime to make up for missing her party. I knew all of this, but I just didn't put any of the pieces together. He shut the door and went no contact on me. I banged on his door until I was pretty sure he had left out the back and had taken off. I tried showing up at his work the next day, but they have security in the entrance and you need an employee to get you in. He refused the call from security when I was asking them to call him at his desk. I've tried reaching out to mutual friends, but I get told that he saw how I really felt about him and can't stay with someone who pretends to care, but secretly is desperate for better. But I'm not at all desperate for better. I am desperate for him. I know this is all my fault, all on me. He's done absolutely nothing wrong, but I said things to hurt him because I was sure he was cheating on me, and I said things that were not true. I know saying things to hurt him is terrible, and I am terrible, and I hate myself for ruining both our lives, but he needs to know that I didn't mean that, and that's not how I've ever felt about him at all. If I had just been an effing adult about the whole thing, none of this would have happened, but I lost it, and now I feel like my entire future that I had is gone. I don't know how I can possibly convince someone that something I said is not true. I've actually looked into paying for a polygraph test and tried to get to him. There are some places in the city that charge a few hundred bucks for one. If that sounds desperate, it's because it is, and I'm absolutely desperate at this point. I seriously just want to die. Two weeks ago, I was thinking he was going to propose at Valentine's Day based on the plans he was making. And today I'm crying my eyes out as my life falls apart and I'm hearing that his friends are taking him out tomorrow to be his wingman and help find someone for him to help him get over me. Every time I think about it, I feel like I'm going to vomit. To sum everything up, I thought I had conclusive proof my boyfriend was cheating. I ended up saying the meanest things I could think of to him. Turns out the other girl was the 12 year old niece who he was treating to a birthday dinner out as a present. He thinks those things I said were true feelings and basically has dumped me. I am a terrible person who's destroyed my entire life in one weekend. She has an edit. Let's check out this edit. Edit. Just want to say that I totally agree with all the comments blasting me. I made all the wrong decisions. I acted like a psycho, an immature piece of crap, and I have no one to blame to blame here at all but myself. I also completely realized that I've done terrible damage to him, and I feel disgusting for having done this. I sent him a letter telling him that I'll no longer try to contact him so he doesn't have to worry about me showing up. I told him that I'm beyond sorry for blowing up his life with my outburst and immature behavior, but I told him to please believe me that I didn't mean anything I said for his own peace of mind in his future. I was contemplating following through with the polygraph and just sending the results as a way to try to help his state of mind in his future relationships, as opposed to using the results to try to convince him to give me another chance, but I think maybe it seems too crazy of a thing to do so I'm going to just leave it. I told him the time we had together was the greatest time of my life and I am sure whoever is the girl that is lucky enough to be with him next will probably feel like she won the lottery just like I always did. I realize that I've destroyed my life but I hope that he can recover from what I've done so at least the destruction can be somewhat limited to be more than him. Let me give my thoughts. So she's pretending like, oh, what I said wasn't true. Yes, it was. Now, if you look, if you listen through the story, she's all bent out of shape and she's ticked off because she thought he was about to propose to her, which tells me that all she cared about really is 
having a relationship just to say she has a relationship, getting married just to say she's getting married, having a ring on her finger just to show it off. She doesn't really want to marry him. That's not the guy she wants. She told him what she thought about him when he made her angry. You have a little one. Sex is horrible. I can have a better guy in no time. What's that tell you? They, if he would have married her, she would have had side guys. She would have been messing around. All that stuff. But she had finally found someone that, oh, he's going to get down on one knee for me and give me a ring and I can lock him in. And, and when she lost that and she realized how she lost it, she felt horrible. Crap. I messed up bad. Yes, you did. You nuked your relationship. It's over. Stop stalking the man. Leave the man alone. You're stalking him, showing up at his job, calling him. Don't go take no polygraph. You're going to fail the polygraph, okay? The truth came out. You, the truth came out. This is how you felt about this man. It's over. It's a wrap. I'm glad he left. I'm glad he didn't say, okay, I believe you. It went back. Nope. Nope, he knows his worth. He ain't got time for you. You're childish. And I'm sorry, if she felt like that the whole time, she's telling him you got this little one and all that stuff. Nine times out of ten, she was cheating on him in any way. And she was she wanted to justify her cheating, which is why she flipped out about that text. Didn't even confront him or didn't even put two and two and two together. Like down the line, she's like, "Oh yeah, it does make sense. That that it, that was his cousin, or I mean that was his niece. Oh, he did just miss her birthday party. You didn't even say anything. It wasn't definitive proof. It was just, hey, I'll be ready. Um, okay, I'll pick where I'm supposed to go or whatever. Like, just question right then and there. Hey, who is Jennifer? And he would have told you, and we probably would have proved it to you. You know, it's not like some of these other stories where. Will a guy or his girl go in the shower? He'll go through her phone and you know, he'll see videos of this girl, he'll see sausage pics, he'll see, Oh, I had a great time effing you last night. Conversations, Oh, I hope your boyfriend doesn't find out. Conversations, it was nothing like that. Like, she didn't see like nothing like that in her phone, in his phone. She saw something very simple, very innocent, where she could have just. Hey, who is Jennifer? Who are you supposed to go out with tomorrow? And he would have simply told you. But no, you were looking for a reason. Because you probably have been doing stuff behind his back. Because you think he sucks in a sack. You think he has a little one. You think you could be with someone who's much better looking. You laid it out on the table. It's over. It's a wrap. Forget about it. Guys, let's check out these comments. Look, I'm willing to give you a pass for being concerned that your boyfriend was up to something, but the way you handled it was terrible. A simple who the heck is Jennifer would have sufficed. And once you did all this, told him I'll get a better, hotter boyfriend, no problem. And I should have upgraded from him long ago. And I'm going to find someone who doesn't require me to fake it when we're having sex. I also made some comment about him being small because I know he's self-conscious about this and I knew it would hurt. Then you nuked the relationship. Game over. Absolutely. Absolutely. She ruined the relationship. <laughs> you stupid. Like, you didn't. You did all that for that little innocent text message. That's stupid. Someone said agreed. He thought he had a relationship where he felt safe. Now he knows that you are willing to hurt him when you feel like it. Every time I think this relationship could be saved... I reread what she said to him and I realize, yeah, he'll never feel truly safe and secure around her again. Absolutely. He thinks he's getting it in in a sack and you you doing all this screaming and telling him he's great. And then you finally tell him I've been faking it. What? <laughs> like, it's over. <laughs> Agreed. You nuked this relationship. He owes you nothing. If after two years of a wonderful relationship with the most fabulous guy, you couldn't ask a simple question to straighten out an honest situation, then how can he know you can move forward in a lifelong commitment? I'm sorry most of the replies are harsh, but so was your reaction. Why would he want to marry you now? I think you showed him a very ugly side of you, and he probably never wants to be a part of it again. I'm sure this one stings. Gonna take time to get over this one. It's hard to get over a mistake when you are 
when you're the one who made it. Oh, and stalking him is not helping your situation. If there is any hope, and I don't think there's much, leave him alone. You're only making things worse for yourself. Yep, does not even need to be confrontational. A, hey, you got a message from Jennifer. I saw it flash up. Who is she? Do I know her? I can't remember you mentioning her. Is that a new colleague? That should suffice. If you trust your partner, it is an innocent question sparked by natural curiosity and not the beginning of drama. Thank you. For her to flip out over something that small, that little, I'm sorry, she's been cheating. She's, she's been cheating herself. And she told him the truth and ruined her relationship. That's your fault. And I'm glad, I'm glad she did that so he can move on. And you were just there because you knew he was going to give you a ring. Someone said, agreed. Girl, this is why you don't blow up until you talk to him or have solid proof. Dang, I would never go back to her. TBH. For real, I don't even have any sympathy for OP as she didn't bother to even find out what was happening. <laughs> yeah, to just jump to conclusions like that. Like, you're tripping. Someone said, couldn't agree more. It's going to take him a long while to actually move on from this. The pit of self-doubt that he's been thrown into my nasty, hurtful comments. No person should ever do this, let alone a long-time girlfriend. More power to his friends. Someone else said, and she kept going too. At every sentence, I was like, oh God, please stop. <laughs> she told the truth. That's how she felt. And now she's sad that he, now she's sad that he walked away. It's silly. Someone said, seriously, even if she didn't mean what she said, from this point of view, he learned she immediately goes from zero to psycho. Who wants to be with that? Someone said, yep, she deserves this. Someone said, yep, a mind ruled by emotion. I bet this was the last straw on his side. Probably has to deal with this stuff all the time. And currently hanging in the no contact zone of the BPD subreddit. 